Sana Pillow here. I am here to do a mukbang on chicken, 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 chicken tenders. I made them myself because I got tired of going to these fast food places where they put more breaded um, stuff than chicken. So I decided to make this myself. I also have a salad here. It's a simple salad. It's, it just consists of um, romaine lettuce with some spinach. And I have a roll here that was left over from Popeyes from yesterday. And I also have broccoli, cheesy broccoli. And I made all of this myself. I'm just, I'm supposed to be starting my fast and I'm trying to get rid of some stuff in the fridge before I start my fast. I don't want anything to, Americans say go bad. I don't want anything to spoil. Jamaican say spoil. So I'm going to try these out. I don't have sauce. I'm fine without sauce. And these I made with, um, what do you call it? This, this is a low carb meal. This I made with pork rinds. The breading is pork rinds. So let's try these out. Pretty good if I say so myself. Now look, it's more chicken than breaded. More chicken than breading. That's what I like. Now, I know how to cook, but I hate cooking. Hate to cook. So I eat out a lot. Or in whatever. Because I hate to cook. Especially in summertime. Who wants to stand over an oven and stove? Stir season and then clean up afterwards. I don't have time for that. Well, I can easily order food. I'm spitting. I can easily order food. Well, on my way home from work, stop and get something from a fast food place. I know it's not the healthiest choice. And I know it's more expensive, but the majority of the time, that's what I do. And being on a low carb diet, I like means you have to really cook a lot. This is really good. Mm. I'm not very domestic at all. I hate cooking and I hate housework. I hate sweeping, mopping, vacuuming, all of it. I hate it. I mean, I do it because you have to do it, but cooking is not something you have to do. Especially every day. The broccoli. Cheesy broccoli. My first husband turned me on to cheesy broccoli. Oops, I'm dropping food. He would cook broccoli and put cheese all over it, smother it in cheese. And I never had broccoli before until I married him. Because I grew up in Jamaica. And for some reason, broccoli wasn't a vegetable. We ate a lot of vegetables, but broccoli wasn't one of them. And being with him, it was the first time I had broccoli and put hair it smothered in cheese, so it was really, really good. And when we weren't together anymore, I made broccoli for myself and I hadn't, you know, made cheese, so I just ate it without the cheese. And it was still good, so I started eating broccoli without the cheese, but I decided, I decided to do it with the cheese this time because I have cheese in the fridge and I'm going to do this fast and I don't want the cheese to spoil. So I decided to use up the cheese. And I have all this lettuce and um, spinach in the fridge. I decided to make a salad because that stuff spoils really, really quickly. This is really good. I say so myself. I did a good job. Pat me on the back. Now, when I tell guys that I don't like to cook, 
They assume it's because I don't know how. I don't know how to cook. Cooking is not rocket science. It's not. You can get recipes from anywhere nowadays. Actually, this recipe right, had mm, spitting all over the place. This recipe I got on um, um, for YouTube from people that do um, low carb diets. Can you hear the pipes? Stop. Okay. I got this recipe from YouTube from people who um, do low carb diet. They take the pork rinds, crush it up, and they use that as batter instead of flour and cornmeal to batter their um your chicken tenders because it's zero carbs. The um, pork rinds is zero carbs. So I did this before. I made this before. And it turned out really, really well. So, because usually I would just season my chicken tenders, stick them in the oven, and leave them alone, and have them cook. You know? Getting um, fried chicken tenders without the carbs is just a good way of doing it. And it's pretty good. about low carb though. Eating a lot of cheese, eating a lot of meats and eggs, and you're not getting a lot of fiber. So you have to figure that out on your own. There's di different things you can do, you know, to get your fiber in. So. Okay, alright, low carb diet, slash keto diet. You have to figure out for yourself how to get your fiber in there. Because fiber is important. Being able to go to the bathroom. I shouldn't talk about this while I'm eating, but it's important. Being able to go to the bathroom is important. Another lady at work told me that she tried this recipe. She's her and her husband do um, keto, and she told me she tried this recipe and it was so good. She said her husband made it. So um, I got more chicken and breading. When I go to um, or fast food, it's one little piece of chicken and the breading surrounds that little piece of chicken. And when you bite into it, oh, oh spicy. Oh, all you can taste is breading. Look at that. More chicken than breading is what you need. Mm, I don't need all that breading.
I know this is a weird combination. Chicken tenders with broccoli and cheese and salad and a roll. Or a biscuit. But when you're trying to get stuff out of your fridge, what happens? Dessert. You have to get dessert. Mm-hmm. Damn it. I'm gonna make dessert. A low carb dessert. With jello and um heavy whipping cream. Zero carbs. I gotta use up that heavy whipping cream because I don't want it to go bad or spoil. The expiration date on here is September, so. It's mid September, but. I can use that up. Mm hmm. I'll make the dirt. Oh, good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's amazing to know that I make. Better chicken tenders than um, Popeye. There are other pictures out there too. Mm -hmm. Better than theirs. So many noise, noise around the apartment complex. Mm -mm. So good. I see people on YouTube making chicken tenders and they buy the chicken breast and then they cut that. I don't understand why they just buy the chicken tenderloins or red chicken tenderloins in the grocery store. I guess they like to um, decide how thick and how big they want their own chicken tenders. I just buy the chicken tenders already separated, already, you know, I don't have to cut it. There's one less step to have to do. And for somebody like me that hate to cook, hey, the easier the better. You know? The easier the better. I see a couple of people on YouTube that do, do that. They buy the chicken breast and then they cut it. is almost gone. So good. So good.
when I, the, the issues my last husband had with me was, he said I didn't cook enough. Well, when I was married to him, I was working a full-time job, and I was going to school part-time. I was working at Morgan State University full-time and going there part-time. I get my bachelor's. And he was working a full-time job. And I don't like to cook. One plus one equals two all day long. I was busy. And I didn't have, to, I didn't, um, I didn't like to cook. He had an issue with that. So sorry. So sorry, not sorry. But I did cook. But I cook when I felt like cooking. In this day and age, and he knew how to cook. But he's from the old school. He believed that women should cook clean. From the, the school of common sense, which says, we both live here, we take care of the house together. That's the school of common sense. You see that I have a full-time job and I go to school? Well, he took. That was one of my big issues. Mm-hmm. You gotta know the person you're marrying. Huh? You gotta know that. If you're not the type of person to rush home and cook for you every day. Mm -mm. Not happening. So this later on tonight, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I'm going to do my dessert. I got to get up and get the stuff though. There's only two items. I'll be right back. I'm going to make dessert. whipping cream, zero carbs, don't know if that's focusing, but it's zero carbs, sugar free jello, zero carbs, hopefully that's focusing, I can't tell, we try to hurry up, okay, this little container right here oops, has a one cup mark. I don't know if you can see because it's really, really faint. It's a one cup mark right here. I'm going to pour that much um, heavy whipping cream in here. Let me hurry up. One cup mark. This expires September oh, 27. I have all month for it. September starts tomorrow. Put my um, jello in here. And this is the cherry jello. I like cherry and I like the strawberry ones. Just pour this in here. And of course I didn't get a spoon. I'll have some. Okay. I'm gonna shake this until you can't hear it anymore. Sometimes it takes forever. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. Or you can put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Shake it until you can't hear it anymore. Sometimes it takes forever. Put 
ridiculous, don't I? That's why it's best to put it in the fridge. It's tiring, especially when it's so hot here. <sighs> I guess this will be fun for kids to do. low carb dessert snack whatever you want to call it if you want it firmer you can put it in the fridge for a little while mm. nice low carb snack or a dessert mm. now I'm hot and sweaty I'm shaking this dang thing mm. That's it for me. I am hot and sweaty. I'm gonna go chill out, turn the AC on, watch some stuff on uh, YouTube. I think I'm gonna watch some reviews for Love After Lockup. Came out last night and I watched it already and I wanna see other people's review on it. So, I don't know when I'll be back to do another video because I really have to start this bag off fast. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Princess on the Pill here. Bye.